from the Bradshaw family, and we've been longtime members of this church since 2000. And we've been involved in Scouts here since 2005 when um, Chip joined as a Tiger. We learned about Scouts through the Halverson family. And um, we're eager to have our boys join as Charles was raised in Scouting along with his brothers. I also did Girl Scouts. So um, the Halversons, who also have been long time supporters of scouting at St. Paul. Michelle was the charter organization rep, and Larry was uh, assistant scoutmaster, I believe, cub mat, I mean, <laughs> every possible. And they also, I think, your family was key in sustaining scouting during a tough lull uh, with St. Paul and brought it back to where it is right now. Um, so many thanks to the Halversons. So uh, Troop 1323 and PAC 1323 um, have been here for almost 60 years. That's a long time. Who in this audience um, has been involved in scouting themselves or have had a child in scouting? Raise your hand. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So the impact of scouts here within our community is absolutely huge. It's important. It's something St. Paul um, is looking forward to continuing years ahead of involvement with both the troop and the pack. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to turn to Charles, if he can share um, what it's like being a leader of youth, of scouts, and a few of the things he's enjoyed most about being a leader. <clears throat> well, with scouts, of course, it's, it's an organization where the kids are learning about the outdoors, outdoor activities, camping. They're also learning about citizenship. They're also learning about reverence. And this is a good opportunity where you see you know, some of the young, young men and women now where they come into scouts, um, 11, 12 years old, and they're just beginning to learn, you know, what it means to be a good citizen, what it means to work in the outdoors. And as you see them grow and move into high school, it's really exciting seeing that transformation from just beginning to the beginnings of a good citizen. And I think that's what Boy Scouts are all about, becoming a good citizen. And Bennett, I'd like for you to just share some of your highlights, your favorite events. I know Bennett's done a couple of the high adventure things, but a few of the activities that you think have made a big impact um, in you as you've moved on in scouting. Uh, I would say a lot of the camping trips. I remember uh, we've gone uh, caving, we've gone um, winter camping, and some of the high adventure uh, would be Philmont uh, and the Jamboree and Sea Base. Uh, those interact with um, sea hiking, and with the Jamboree, it's more a uh, community, kind of getting to know people and seeing all around the world. But Philmont um, is lots of hiking and exploring the. Uh, the New Mexico, uh, you know, wilderness and sea base is exploring the sea and, um, you know, coastline of Florida. Those are a lot of, lot of events um, and things where this church, St. Paul, if it weren't for St. Paul, the impact on the hundreds of youth that have gone through scouting over the almost 60 years in this community. Just, you know, you can go downstairs when you, if you've um, ever taken a chance, look on the wall, you can see a few of the things that the scouts have put up, but also along the side is the number of Eagle Scouts that this uh, troop has produced. 
So that would not be possible without the support of St. Paul United Methodist Church in Laytonsville, and we just extend our deepest appreciation for the support. So thank you.